Hey everyone, this is Matt with the Virtual Game Lounge, and today we're going to be looking at Armored Core 1 on the PC, and how modern controls really changed the game. Armored Core has been on consoles for decades, focusing on significant mech customization and immersive world building. It's never seen a proper PC release. Fires of Rubicon will be the first time we can play Armored Core on PC. Officially. Through emulation, we can look back and play the majority of the Armored Core series and realize its full potential. Most of you already understand emulation, so I'll keep this description short. An emulator is just a program that lets us run games and programs made for other hardware. In this case, I'll be using DuckStation to emulate a PlayStation 1 on my PC. And using that, I can play the original Armored Core. DuckStation is a very easy emulator to set up. The only thing that might put someone off is that you have to supply a BIOS file. Fortunately, there's a very easy and legal way to acquire one. I'll link a good tutorial in the description. The original Armored Core is built around the PlayStation 1 controller, which is before Dual Analog was the mainstream. This naturally means the controls feel very awkward by today's standards. For example, you would look up and down using the left and right shoulder buttons. System engaged. Binding these controls to the mouse movement allows a much more natural input to trigger these controls. I can't emphasize enough how much easier it is to get locks on targets and look around with subtle mouse movements over using triggers on the D-pad. The test is over. From this moment on, you are a raven. Using the DuckStation menu, you can set any mouse and keyboard input to trigger any PlayStation 1 input. You can also change your inputs mid-game. I had to fine-tune my setup after I started playing, and I got to do it right here without exiting the game. System engaged. System engaged. Let's hop into some gameplay to show how this plays. The mech is still slow to turn, but I never feel as if I have to stop and get a grip on turning around or aiming up and down. I'm also free to aim anywhere as I strafe with more comfort. I also find the melee weapons are more viable as I can more easily face enemies and open up opportunities to boost into them and strike.
Armored Core is already a respected classic, and now it holds up even better than before with these new controls. It still feels retro, but it certainly doesn't feel outdated. Is that you, Raven? The target is in this sector. We're counting on you. Target identified. Target achieved. So, in conclusion, I have been thoroughly enjoying the original Armored Core. Not just admiring where the series started, but the game in itself is incredibly satisfying. I'm hooked on completing more missions to grow my business as a mercenary. I want to keep collecting more money to access more equipment for my mech. Do keep in mind that this is not a review of Armored Core. I just wanted to highlight the importance of a retro game, emulation, and modern controls in the current gaming landscape. I highly encourage all of you to check out the original Armored Core and see what you think for yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, this has been Matt with the Virtual Game Lounge. We've arrived at the combat area. We'll leave as soon as your AC is deployed. System engaged. We got some excellent data. We'll put it to good use in the future. Thank you for your help. Target of operation cleared. System switched to normal mode. <laughs>